This is really important. I'll always want to include this whenever we're working with dumbbells and free weights. Hey guys, this is John Shoemate for LiveAnabolic.com, the place for guys over 60 to get in shape. And I'm here to help you. I'm 61 years old and I'm in some of the best shape of my life. You can be too. Anyone can do it. Today, we're gonna do just a really quick and simple chest workout. We're only gonna do three exercises and we're just gonna use dumbbells. So you can do it in your own home, you can do it quick, you can hit those chest muscles, we're gonna hit the main pectorals and we're gonna hit um, the upper and the lower chest as well too. So guys, remember, in our age group, 60 and over, it's important that we have good posture overall when we do our exercises. So you wanna make sure that you stand up tall, have your neck neutral, that is straight, your chin slightly back, do your core squeeze. Find the point right below your belly button, pull it back as hard as you can, and squeeze your glutes, squeeze your butt muscles together as tight as you can. This makes you rigid around the middle. It helps to protect your spine overall. So remember guys, before you start your workout, you wanna make sure you warm up. All you need to do for about 10 minutes is to slightly elevate your heart rate. And you can do that any way you want to. You can walk vigorously if you want to. You can jog in place for 30 seconds and rest for 30 seconds. Do that with jumping jacks. Get on your treadmill, get on your exercise cycle, whatever you need to. Now when we do these exercises, we wanna keep it simple. We wanna do three sets, 12 reps on every set. Why do we do that? because the science shows that that's the sweet spot to get anabolic response, to get muscle growth. There's a lot of different ways to mix that up, but do yourself a favor, let's keep it simple. All right guys, let's get started. Exercise number one. I call this the one arm dumbbell press. I like this one a lot because you go one arm at a time and it creates an unstable environment that your body has to balance through. So it's a little bit more dynamic than what you get like with a machine or even doing a barbell press overall. The motion is really exactly the same. So you're simply gonna lay back on the bench and you're gonna have your dumbbell right here. I want you to do your core squeeze and make sure that your posture is good. You can actually push down a little bit with your heels and make sure that your weight is really light on your butt and you're simply going to push up. And on this one, I like to lock out and squeeze the tricep and come back down. And up and squeeze and back down. And you can go on a count. One, two, three, hold one and down. One, two, and you're breathing. Exhale, inhale. And as always guys, we wanna do three sets, 12 reps. Okay, great job guys. Now next we're gonna do incline dumbbell press. I also like this one a lot because it works the upper part of your pectorals. And at the same time, it pulls in a little bit of your front deltoid, your front shoulder muscle. These muscles work in conjunction to move the weight forward. Now you wanna make sure on your incline, you set your back rest up just slightly, but don't go too far or you'll start to turn this into more of a shoulder exercise. So it's really simple. We just take our dumbbells, go back. We wanna make sure that we have good posture. So remember, do your core squeeze and you can actually press down slightly on your heels, lift your glutes just slightly up off the seat and press straight up and touch the dumbbells together and come down and straight up and touch them together. You can do it on a count where you come down and go up one, two, three, hold one and down one, two and breathe. Exhale and inhale. And guys, as always, three sets, 12 reps. Guys, you're doing great so far. So the last of our three chest dumbbell exercises is just dumbbell flies. This is really important. I'll always wanna include this whenever we're working with dumbbells and free weights. 
and working on our chest because it helps to stretch out that muscle fascia. It gives you more room for growth and it gives you more range of motion overall. And it's really simple. So we simply go back with our weights down flat. Again, good posture even though you're laying down, good core squeeze. Put some weight on your heels, take some weight off of your glutes. Come straight up with the weights like this. Now, I like to bend my elbows just a little bit so you don't get the weight out too far. You actually wanna use the weight and your back muscles just like you're doing a row and pull down and open up that chest and then squeeze it up together, touch the weights together and back down, pull down, stretch the chest open and come up. And we can do this on a count where we go down one, two, and up one, two, three, hold one, and down one, two, and our breathing. Exhale and inhale. And as always, we're gonna do three sets and 12 reps. So guys, there you have it, three quick, easy chest exercises to do with your dumbbells at home. Great job, really appreciate you being here. If you wanna see more of these videos, hit the thumbs up button to subscribe. And as always, remember, obstacles are what you see when you lose sight of your goals. Keep working guys, we'll see you next time.